Rosette, before we read the testimony, I want to talk a little bit more about what we were talking about on the break, which is the transformative process. And you hear a lot these days about turning your pain into purpose. And and it's almost become cliche. So talk a little bit about that transformation process that happens with the men and women who go through Anthem Strong Families. Well, we have a lot of ways to learn lessons in life, and certainly one of the most important ones is that um, we learn that pain and suffering, as Tara would say, can be our greatest teachers. And, and, and so that we're taking something, we're taking the cross and bringing about our own salvation in so many ways of, of understanding that it doesn't have to stay caught. Um, that that becomes where I, in my head, say, people are in prison. Some of them are behind bars because we create our own traps, our own cages, and and want to get out of them and try different ways, and many times do it in very um, harmful ways to ourselves. You know, I can drink my pain. Um, I can um, drug my pain. Drug my pain. There's, there's people who sleep with a lot of people just just to forget things. I mean, there's so many ways that we can harm ourselves more as opposed to taking something, making it good. So if what we're about is helping each other to learn how we take those hurtful things, because those are the things that hold us back, and change them from being caught in us, trapped in us, in a cage, and breaking open the, bar, the, the bars so that you're out of the cage and that you're not afraid of what hurts you so badly, and that you find courage to move on. Mm-hmm. And with that, you just it becomes exponential. I break not only my bars, but then when I'm helping people, they're teaching me, and it just gets better and better. So that's the kind of transformation we're talking about. So I want to clarify something. Um, many people um, think that our work is mostly around men because we do have the mo- one of the most integrated fatherhood mm-hmm. initiatives in the country. Um, and some people think that we work just with formerly incarcerated. Mm-hmm. So this is our time to clarify our, um, the depth and breadth of our, uh, our folks who's, who comes through Anthem Strong Families. So through the years, it has compounded and gotten more and more. Uh, we have definitely worked with many people who are in uh, prison, alternative prisons and those kinds of things and their families. But what this was set out to do, remember, is helping people who are struggling to move off the bottom, whether what, however you want to define that, with their life. They don't have enough education to move on. They don't have enough resources to move on. They don't have the the belief in themselves. They don't run with the other people who can help move them out and stay stuck in that and help give some ways to move forward in life. Um, For me, part of my belief system is that we're down here to reach out to each other. And this is a two-way street. It, it, and that if you decide that there are people you can't learn from, what my friend said to me, you know, the minute somebody walks in that door, if you said that could never be me, get out of business. You need to be in get out of business. business. And so if you see somebody, that can be you, their struggle. And I read that in these different things. That's why I can't stand our our completion events without crying through them because people are so amazing in their, when they find their courage, when they say, no, not anymore. But when what, how they're um, defeating their pain is not through harming myself or somebody else I love. It is through putting life and purpose in place and finding people who can help me move forward. And let me say again, what happens is we see people who are in need. We see people who uh, are immigrants. We see people who are in prison or they've had someone that we see kids who are struggling to get through school or not not be able to get anywhere. We deal with women. Uh, we deal with people who are married or together and don't know how to make a relationship work. These are all those things that stand in our way of having a good life. Um, and so those are the things we deal with. It is not um, whether you are have been in prison. It is not 
It's whatever prison you've been in or you are now. It's not one dimensional. It is not, not one at all. dimensional. Not at all. You have to be human with a beating heart and that you're struggling to, to get answers. And not many people know that they are. Mm. I mean, because we That's also good. have That's defenses, good. right? Correct. I have to pretend to you that I'm okay more than I think I'm okay. I have to um, not reveal to you a pain that I've had or or you have to not reveal yours to me you know that we we just have these barriers which I understand I'm not even blaming them for that but again that's why we choose people and learn to choose wisely about who we can find in who we listen to you know before you read that one of the things that I have seen on staff and in the work that we do is the ability to be vulnerable Oh, yeah. And transparent. It's hard. It's hard. And, and, and transparent to that pain. But in one of our classes, in one of the, the segments, you can't get to, you can't get there until you realize, until you are willing to look at that pain and be transparent about it. It also helps everybody absolutely. that's in the class. I, absolutely. Yeah. And I think that's also who we try to choose. Correct. To be in this business because we, we, we tell people, drink the water. I can't help you if I haven't. If I don't acknowledge, acknowledge that I've needed help. Exactly. Absolutely. Or that I'm now all cured. What's that? Oh. You know, when am I finished? <laughs> you know, you can't do that. And and so what happens is there's not a right or wrong of being a person and dealing with issues. That's not shameful. Um, what we're dealing with is getting moving out of that, again, understanding our own pain, our own courage, and finding the people around us who can help as well. And then what we find is that in return, I can help them.